masu kallon mu barkan mu da saduwa da ku a cikin wannan sabon shiri na tattauna wanda hukumar kula da kamfanonin sadarwa ta Najeriya wato NCC Nigerian Communications Commission kenan suka shigo domin su wayar da kan al'umma ita dai wanda hukumar ta NCC hukuma ce take zaman kanta kuma take kula da bangarori na kamfanoni wato kamfanoni masu aiki da kenan da sadarwa inda a daidai wannan lokacin mun shigo ne domin mu tattauna tare da ma'aikata daga wannan hukuma akan wato tsarin nan na 5G ita mai ce ce wannan 5G din 5G dai ina nufin wato mataki na biyar kenan a hanyoyin sadarwa ta wayar salula wanda aka fi sani da GSM amma kuma akwai ce ce kucin da mutane suke tayi game da shi zuwa wannan tsari na wato 5G inda suke tunanin yana da barazana da lafiyar jikin mu shin ko haka abin yake don mu tattauna da wannan wato shirin nan na tsarin 5G muka shigo muku da ma'aikata daga wannan hukumar ta NCC inda muke farin cikin gabatar muku da babban mutumin a wato shugabar wannan hukumar professor Garbo Umar Dambata professor barkan ka da shigowa na gode barkan mu da haka na musanan kuma akwai director mai kula da alamura wanda aka fi sari da Mr Efosa Idehe am I correct sir Idehe yes yes welcome to the show sir musanan kuma akwai babban engineer mai kula da ayuka wato na wannan hukumar muna farin cikin gabatar muku da engineer Bao Wakili engineer barkan ka da shigowa barkan mu da wurin na'am to masu kallo sai ku biyo mu domin ku je da hira tamu za ta kasance professor barkan ka da shigowa na gode kwarai akaro na bi kenan na gode kwarai na ji dadi gaskiya kasancewa tare da ku a wannan dakin na shirye shi na gode malama na gode a professor zan fara da kai to dida dai nawa masu kallo bayani menene shi wannan 5G din za mu so mu ji daga bakin ka menene 5G kuma me ya dalilin kirkiro 5G to masu sauraro barkan mu da wurin haka kamar yanda aka sani wato ita fasaha ta sadarwa a kasar nan an fa ta fara kama kasa tun wato 1986 lokacin da aka sa wata wato a iya cewa wata waya wanda ta hada Lagos da London wanda ake amfani da wannan waya ake ake kira a in za a iya tunawa wato shugaban mu a wannan lokaci sa Abubakar Tafawa Balewa Allah ya gafar ta mishi shine wanda ya fara amfani da wannan waya ya kirawo abokin aikin sa da yake wato London wato Prime Minister na London to ashe wannan abu ne mai mai tarihin gaske aka taho aka taho aka sami fasaha ta sadarwa wanda ake ce mata wanji a turanci uh, kuma ina ganin ba sai na tsaya ina tafa man jawabi mai ake nufi ba uh. wato wannan mutane za su iya tunawa lokacin da aka yi amfani da waya wanda sai an jujuya wato abin nan din akwatin eh a juya a juya kuma shikenan sai uh, sai mutun sai ya uh, samu damar da zai kira inda yake so ya kirawo to a wannan ma ba a fara sawo mutane wayoyi a gidan su ba sai dai ka je chairman post office mutane za su iya tunawa you know ka ka ba da abin nan ka kira inda a kira ma inda kake so ka biya ka tafi mutane za su iya tunawa lokacin wannan kamfanin nan na Nitel layyuka na mutane da suke so su yi waya duka duka masu waya a gidajen su a wannan lokaci ba su fi rabin miliyan ba a duk kasar nan to saboda haka ana nan ana nan sai sai tuji kuma tazo sai zamana ai kowa ma zai iya ruke wato rike waya salula waya salula labarin ta ya ya bazama mutane da yawa aka fara rike a hannu zaka iya amfani da ita ka kirawo inda kake so a kuma har zaka iya tura sako a rubuce daga nan sai aka taho sirji to 3G duk za ka iya wadannan abubuwan guda biyu kuma sai ta hada da shiga yana to aka zo 4G to 4G za ka iya sayan wato data na ce data ko ya san magana da ake duk wadannan su WhatsApp din nan su 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 Facebook su wane ne duk da data ake yin su saboda haka ita 4G ta hada da duk wadancan abubuwan na bayar da ake yi kuma sai kuma tazo zaka iya sayan data kai kai kuma wasu abubuwa kuma ma da dama to ana nan ana nan 
a uh, masu nazari da yanda irin wannan wato fasahoshin suke zuwa suka ce kowane shekara goma sai sai wata sabo fasaha sai ta kawo kai to yanzu mun zo matsayi mun zo gurin eh so saboda haka yanzu ana maganar 5G ha. to 5G ta hada da duk abubuwan nan na baya da na fadi mm. to sai dai kuma inda ita ta zarra ita fasaha 5G shine ha. sauri ha. yanzu yanzu nan kamar yanda madan yake cewa wai kafin ka ka kifta you know ko ma ba na son da kalmar yawa kafin ka kifta idan ka ka bude yanzu abin da ka tura ya je ko abin da aka tura muka ya zo kuma kana kuma gashi tana amfani da bututu mai fadi wanda abubuwa da yawa za su iya shiga cikin cikin wato bututun kuma su isa inda ake so wato ina ina manufin da shi abinda magana da maganganun da muke da sakonnin da muke turawo da hotuna masu marasa motsi da masu masu motsi da data din da ake amfani da ita kafafun sa da zuma yawa eh duk wannan za za a rugun tsuma duk za su shiga kuma za su je inda ake bukata ko kuma su dawo yanda ake bukata to kuma bayan nan sai ya zamana wato akwai wani abu wato na ura za ta iya sarrafa na ura to to an samu kari na bi kenan akan abin da ake da shi ko yawa kana kuma na wato na urori a dan daira wato tsawon kilomita daya da kuma wato ainihin shim kilomita daya kilomita daya wato kamar s square haka to za a iya samun wato na urori daya 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 guda har miliyan a wannan daira kuma ya zaman da dukkansu za a iya sarrafa su wannan shine abin da wannan wannan ita sabo fasaha ta kawo to saboda haka wani abu ne wanda ba mu taba ji ba ba mu taba gani ba ba ma zato zai faru sai gashi kuma Allah ya kawo shi cikin ikon sa eh to wannan ina ganin a taƙaice ba na son shin ya lokacin da aka bani dan sai an dade ina magana akai amma dai baran takaita haka abun gi professor godiya muke kuma zan da gare ka engineer wakili a duba da duka alfanan da professor lusafa wannan 5g din zai iya kawo mana akwai cece ku ce da mutane suke ta cewa shin zuwa wannan 5g akwai wani barazana ga lafiya jikin mu ko kuma akwai wani abu da zai faru ko daga wasu ma suna cewa sai an canja wayar hannu sai an canja a irin na'urar da muke amfani da shi a gida irin su electronics kenan ya abun yake engineer eh to wato tunda fasahan wato cellular wato da ta tafi da gidan ka ya fito ana samu irin wannan ƙorafin wajen jama'a cewa wata kila yana iya kawo wani cuta amma duk ainihin binciken kimiya da fasaha da aka yi tunda aka fara wayan cellular zuwa yau ba a samu wani wato kwakwaran wato dalili da ya nuna hujja da ya nuna cewa wannan zai iya hadar sa wato wani cuta amma a kulli halin har yanzu bincike yana ana kan bincike bincike bai kare ba kuma ana nan ana kan bincike amma dai shi ainihin wadannan wayoyin fasalula dama an yi shi saboda amfanin mutane kuma na farko a cikin kimiya da fasa idan za a yi wani na'ura shin wannan na'uran ya a zai iya wato um taba you know lafiya mutane to lafiya mutane yana daga cikin muhimmin abu da aka duba kafin aka fitar da shi saboda haka mutane kar su ji tsoro wannan abun ana magana tunda aka fara wayan salula yau kusan shekara 40 na tafiya gidanka ana nan tun kafin ya zo nan ko aka san turai ana samu irin wannan ƙorafin to amma kamar yadda na ce wannan wato hukumar lafiya ta majalisar dinkin duniya da ake kira WHO su ma su yin bincike kuma suna nan suna kan bincike su jawabin da suka fitar a yau yace a yanzu a kimiyance wato dalilin da aka samu ko binciken da aka yi babu wanda ya nuna cewa wayan selula zai iya haddasa wani cuta a yanzu haka to shine dai bayanin wakili still wadan tambayar zan muka yi saboda akwai a wani burbushin makami shi kamar radiation kenan da ake tsammanin kamar shi wadan fabi zai iya fitarwa ya abin ya akwai bambancin da na jisin da muke da shi su 2G 3G 4G sun da yake kamar upgrade aka samu akwai bambanci to eh akwai wannan tirrin da yake fita 
uh, wanda ake kira radiation mm -hmm. to shi turaren yana kashi biyu ake da shi mm. akwai mai guba akwai mm. mara guba mm. to mm. ainihin turaren da yake fita a cellular tafiya da gidanka wato mara guba ne mm. na farko to abinda mutane za su gane kenan turare ne wanda yake mara guba mm. na biyu sabida ainihin shi fa sa kamar yadda mm. professor ya fada yeah ko wani lokaci idan aka samu sabon fasaha ana duba menene aka rasa ana bayan kuma wani iri ci gaba za a kara to daya daga cikin abin da aka cimma a cikin wannan mataki tabiyar wato 5G shine rige wannan tirare da yake fata saboda haka na 5G ainihi shi ya fi ma sauke fiye da na 4G da 3G sabida matakan da aka mm. dauka kuma ci gaba da aka samu mm. wajen kimiya da fasa yes, sabida haka wannan zai ba mu kwanciyan hankali mm. fiye da manada mm. eh gaskiya ne godiya miki a bista yeah. fursa um, i would like to show these questions to you but i will go on a short break when i come back yeah. i think i will throw the questions for you okay. thank you very much masu kallo da hiran mu take kasancewa kenan daga wato wannan hukumar ta kula da kamfanonin sadarwa ta najeriya wato ncc kenan da wannan zamu je dan hutun takaitaccen lokaci a dakacin mu karfin sadarwa na 5G shine rukuni na biyar a sashen karfin sadarwa yana da sauri na matuka ga gamsarwa da kuma yana iya zama dan kwalzumin ci tsakanin jama'a da dukkan yanayi da samar da kimiyyar sadarwa wa gidaje da makarantu da birane game da ababan hawa masu na'urorin garkuwa daga hadaruruka har ma da bunka sakiwon lafiya da na ayyukan noma da kuma samar da ilimi da haifar da kafafan samar da alkhairi ga al'umma da bunka sa kasuwanci da samar da ayyukan yi da habbaka mizanin arzikin kasa da sarrafa sarrafan kimiyya da bunka sa shirin tsaron kasa da dukiyoyin jama'a sashen majalisar dinkin duniya dake kula da kiwon lafiya na jaddada cewa lalle 5G ba shi da illa kuma baya haddasa cutar covid ko wani cuta mai kamar haka ncc na dogaro da kimiyya wurin jaddada cewa ba daidai bane jita jitar da ke nuna cutarwar karfin 5G wannan magana ba shi da hujja a cikin ilimin kimiyya NCC Sadar da Nigeria to masu kallon mu barka mu da dawowa idan yanzu ka kunna da talabijin dinka muna tsaka da tattauna ne tare da maika ta daga wannan hukumar ta NCC inda suke mana wato bayani akan wannan tsari na 5G da fatan kuna jin dadin kasancewa tare da mu yanzu kuma za mu dora daga inda muka tsaya Mr. Ifusa sa Thank you very much for coming on the show. Thank you. Now there's some misinterpretation of this um, 5G rollout that people are thinking it will have effect on our health. How can you clear the areas? Well, thank you very much. Um, for us in the Commission, Nigerian Communications Commission, mm. we work with international standards. Okay. For the 5G, mm won't come out without several research that have been done by international organizations. Mm. ITU, you know, carry out some of these uh, research to test if there are effects on human beings. Mm. And from all their research, mm. it has shown that it is not, it does not have adverse effect on human beings. Okay. But the critical one is the International Commission for Non-Ionizing Radiation Protection, ICNIP. Mm. All the research that they have carried out have shown that this uh, technology does not have effect on human beings. Mm. And those are the research that the commission go with. Mm. There is no equipment that comes into the Nigerian telecom space that is not type approved. Mm. So when we say type approval, we look at all whether they meet all the standards yes, that have yes. been set yes. for the radiation limits mm. for those equipments. Mm. And before they are approved, they must meet those standards. Mm. So for us, we take it very seriously mm. in the NCC. Mm. Our type approval process makes sure we make sure it captures the essence of human protection, mm. so that at all times, yeah, all the equipment that are in our telecom space meets international standard. For now, there is no cause for alarm. Right. There is no fear because okay. all research has shown that they are not hazardous to human. So we should be ready to use the 5G anytime it comes. For sure. Okay, yes. now, uh, w what is the NCC doing to ensure that Nigeria became a trailblazer when it comes to telecommunication in this sector? That's when the 5G is being rolled out. For us, for, for NCC, to, for Nigerian to become a trailblazer uh. is to use the technology. Wow. Because if the technology is deployed and it is not used, 
then it will go down. Mm. But for we are encouraging people. We make sure we take information to mm. the people uh, through our awareness processes mm. to get them to understand why they must use this uh, this technology. Mm. We educate them. Mm -hmm. We inform them. Mm. And then when there are issues, we also protect them. So my department, the Consumer Affairs Bureau, mm. was set up to inform, protect, and educate. Wow. So we usually use the protect, inform, and educate, which we call our PI mandate. And we do this through various means. Mm. Like yesterday, we were in Dambata on our village square. Wow. We have other programs like the Telecom Town Hall on radio. Mm. So we also inform, and we have various conversations. Mm. We have the NYC conversation. Mm. We have the campus conversation. We have uh, the professional conversation. We go to professionals body, professional bodies uh, annual conference mm. to educate the elites on the use of all these technologies. Once we are able to educate them and they understand that this technology is good mm. and it helps the economy, because once we adopt technology, mm -hmm. it drives the economy. You, you can imagine when 5G is here, mm. someone in Meduguri can trade oh, with someone yes. in the down south without moving. And very fast. And very fast. And transmission, you know, you, you send the goods and then you are wired back your money. Hmm. All of them will go through the, the, the telecom space, especially hmm. the financial uh, bit of it. Hmm. Though logistics will take care of the, getting the goods to the other place. Yeah, For you yeah. to see the goods is the same technology of uh, telecoms that you use. Hmm. So we are working very hard in the commission to ensure that adoption is high when the technology Thank you very much, Mr. Efosa. I'll still come back to you. Uh, Baranda Garika, uh, Professor. Kabar, uh, uh, Mr. Efosa, I'm going to talk about the 5G technology. What do you think about the 5G technology? No. What do you think about the 5G technology? What do you think about the 5G technology? What do you think about the 5G technology? It is one of the things that we have to do with the government ta hanyar kudin shiga wato za a ga kusan kowane wata uku a shekara kuma wannan ba wai ni nake fadin wannan ba akwai hukuma da take bin sashe sashe na tattalin arziki take tana cewa wannan sashen ga kasan da ya bayar wannan sashen ga kasan da ya bayar wancin maga abin da ya bayar to a yanzu wato banda ai kace ai kace gona wato mu ne na biyu mu muke ba da kaso mafi tsoka ga tattalin arzikin kasan nan kuma wannan ba abin mamaki bane ba ah saboda haka idan mutane ba su gane wannan abin wato a dunkula ba to abin da muke bayarwa kaso ga tattalin arzikin kasan nan ya kai kusan trillion uku a kowane wata uku kuma wannan ba zai rasa nasaba ba da irin wato karbar ita wannan fasaha da yan Najeriya suka yi za su yi waya su kira za su tura sakonni za a WhatsApp za a Facebook za a Twitter to duk wannan duk wanda ake yi akwai dan wani kaso da mutane suke taimakawa gwamnati na kudin shiga saboda haka babu wata wani sashe na tattalin arziki da yake yin hopasa na bada wato kaso mai tsoka irin ita wannan sashi na sadarwa na kasa banda more rayuwa da ake yi to kuma ana samu gwamnati kudin shiga domin yi wa al'umma ayyuka na more rayuwa ti tunane abun nan abun nan abubuwan da ya kamata ai masa ne domin kiwon lafiyar su makarantu na ayyan mu ga sunan dai abubuwan suna da dama duk akwai wani hop asa da wannan sahen tattalin arzikin na sadarwa yake yi to so ina ganin kuma tunda aka faro din nan ba ma ba mu taba ba da kasa wato kasa da kashi goma daga cikin dari na kudi da suke shiga a susun gwamnati ba doctor professor ban kase ka ba kai maganar tattalin arziki mu kalli bangaren samar da aiki ga matasa tunda dai daga cikin abubuwan da muke tun kokarin mu to wannan ma yayi akwai mutun dai 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 sama da miliyan biyu da suke cikin abinci a wannan sashe na tattalin arzikin na sadarwa akwai mutanen da 
kuma kari mm. million e da rabi wanda su ba wai kamfanonin sadarwar ne suka dauke su ba mm. a a wato suna yin wadansu ayyuka da suke da nasaba da harkokin sadarwa mm. su ma tunan suke cin abinci gaskiya ne to godiya miki professor gwari da gaskiya engineer na da gare ka a shin akwai kaidadar lokacin da aka aji tunda wannan magadan 5G din kamar tun a wancin shekaran da ya gabata ake ta maganar shi shin akwai kaidadar lokacin za fara amfani da shi za zai fito a fara amfani da shi eh wato tsarin an yi shi ne you know daki daki yanzu mun samu an bayar da wato ainihin um abin da muke kira spectrum a an sayar da ta ita kuma kamfanoni biyu sun samu ainihin sun siya wannan ainihin wato spectrum din um MTN da kuma mafaf to kuma an ba su licensing ainihi na gabatar da wannan 5G yanzu shirye shirye suke su kawo na'urori wanda za su sarrafa shi kuma mu a bangaren mu wannan maganar type approval da yake fada na wato duba ingancin wadannan na'urori muna nan muna yi to kuma muna kyauta zato abin da ya kama daga watan augusta mai zuwa zuwa sama shine muke gani za a fara ainihin aiwatar da wannan na'urori da kuma abin na 5G gaskiya nan kasan to engineer Allah ya kai mu da rai da alashe dan gaskiya ba zan iya jira ba an fara amfani saboda duk saurin abin da yadda abin yake da sauri ba za mu sa kafa kasa a guye ba sai mun fara dan Allah ya kai mu Allah ne ne ya ba sai dai kawai karin bayani da yake abu ne na farawa um farko farko ta yi wato yawanci wannan wato handset na mutane suke da shi ba ba zai iya ya hawo kan 5G ba to kaga wayan su dole sai sun neme sun canja wayoyin su yau kaga ce ce ku ce daya kenan daga cikin kamar yadda mutane suke magana kenan har ake cewa sai electronics ma a gida wai za a canza a well ka san kin san wato shi ainihin komai wato da kadan kadan a kin in kin duba ai ita wayan cellular in kanshi lokacin da ya fito sim din na ai mun sai ya shigo jan 120 ko ba haka ba to yanzu kusan kyauta ake samu to idan an fara dama dole zai dan tsar amma idan aka abin ya bunkasa ya zama ko ina yana nan to zai sauka saboda haka ba kuma wannan bai nuna cewa za a dena amfani da sauran 2G 3G 4G ba su suna nan eh wannan daurawa za a yi akai yauwa yauwa daurawa za a yi akai saboda haka wadanda suna da hali da za su iya you know siya sabon wato handset wanda yake da dama you know ya hawo kan 5G to su za su fara kuma wanda ba yi da hali sai ya dan hakura amnan da shekara kadan you know za a samu bunkasan wannan abun kuma ya zai zama ya zama to kowa ma yana da shi gaskiya ne engineer godiya miki kore da gaskiya Mr. Efosa I have a question concerning the pricing but I want to go a short break when I come back we talk about that masu kallon mu yadda hero mu yake kasancewa kenan da fatan kuna jin dadin kasancewa tare da mu zamu je mu dan zahir tajim kadan muna dawowa the fifth generation of cellular networks 5G it's for the easy life it is fast reliable and can connect everyone and everything the world health organization says it is safe to use and cannot cause covid-19 or any radiation related ailment 5G will create huge business opportunities, provide jobs, enhance creativity and innovation and improve the security of lives and property. The Nigerian Communications Commission stands with science and debunks all claims that 5G has adverse health implications as there is no scientific support for such. NCC Connecting Nigeria to masu kallon mu barkan mu da dawowa har yanzu dai muna tsakar da tattauna a wato da wannan hukumar ta NCC inda suke wayar bada da kai akan a wato jita jitan da ake tayi game da shi wadan tsari na 5G da fatan kuma kuna amfanuwa da irin hira da muke kawo muku yanzu kuma za mu dora daga inda muke muka tsaya Mr. Fosa thank you very much our patience uh, before we uh, go, go on a short break I was talking about the pricing so how is the pricing for the 5G like is it still like the other technologies we have or there's an upgrade in the price Uh, well, uh, pricing within the NCC or the telecom uh, space, oh. it's uh, 
regulated somehow okay. because we have a pricing structure that has been set since uh, for some time now. Mm -hmm. There's a cap and there is a floor. All right. If at any time, because when the other technology, even right from the 2G, mm -hmm. you've never heard when we discuss about the pricing because each time it comes, it falls within that pricing structure. Okay. And the, except when the cost variables for the new technology is significantly different from what it is now, then the service provider will require or request that we vary our price structure. Right. And then we will look at the cost implication. Mm. We will follow up with all the statistics or the research that we need to do. Mm. It's a very rigorous process. Mm -hmm. We don't take it lightly because what we want to do is to ensure that there is fair pricing and there is fair competition within the industry. So we will get those information, the various cost factors, mm. and factor it into the various models that we build mm. and find out what the cost structure will look at. Mm. And then we now set a cap and we set a floor. Mm. And within that space, the mm. gap between the flat cap and the floor allows for competition. Wow. You can choose the price you want That's to give right. within that space and then you compete. So it doesn't allow for collusion. Mm -hmm. So all of them cannot come. We want to try, charge a single price. Mm. It's not allowed within our industry. Mm. It's a competitive industry. We want them to compete. That was there is a cap and there is a floor. Mm -hmm. If you provide significantly high service to your consumer, you, you can charge a price within that uh, that's uh, a space mm -hmm. that is high. Mm. And then if your quality is not as high as the other one that your competitor is serving mm -hmm. and you still have consumers, you can charge a price that fits your Consumer. quality of service. Mm. We will look at it when they request that there is a significant change mm -hmm. in the cost of doing business, mm. but we pass it through our framework of price determination. Talking about competition in the uh, industry, let's, let's see how the NCC can talk to the consumer to even accept how to do the pricing, because this is a competition now you say concerning. How, how, how will the NCC come in, talk to those people? For us, your, we've provided you with competitive company, mm -hmm. We don't need to tell you who to buy from. Oh. Their products and their service, we sell for them. Exactly. And we also made it very possible for you, the, con the consumer, to be the king. Uh -huh. And that's why we did what we call mobile number portability. Uh -huh. That is, you can move with your number from any network, the same number from any network, from A to B to C to D. Whoever you want, the same number. That means... You don't lose your number if mm -hmm. you are going from one network to the other. Mm -hmm. So if the price in one does not suit Before you, you can port, you to, can the port to the other network. Mm -hmm. So it's competitive. It is. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Uh, to Professor Lokachi, I have a question. 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 Uh, lura da kampono nan sadarwa mm. na kasa tana sayi sayin daka yeah. uh, da kuma jajircewa uh, wajen samun gamsuwar ita wannan hada hada ta sadarwa ga yan Nigeria eh zamu tsaya mu sa ido mu tabbata cewa wato ba a ha'ince su ba mm. ba a cucuce su ba saboda wannan dalili ne ma muka fito da wani tsari na ainihin kiyaye hakkin wanda yake sayan haja ta sadarwa wannan ya hada da ko ta magana ko ta data da yake sauran su kuma inda muka ga wato an yi laifi ko an cuci shi customer to mukan mukan tsawutar har ta kai ma mukan ci tara in abin ya ya ta'azzara to saboda haka muna nan muna tabbatawa da jama'a cewa duk wani abu tsari da za a fito da shi muna da shi ainihin customer a cikin zuciyar mu domin tabbatar an kiyaye hakkin sa ya samu hajjan nan bisa ga farashi mai adalci da kuma sassauci wai wannan shine abin da nake so a sako na karshen ga jama'ar Mr. Efosa what is your last comments to people concerning the rollout of this 5G if eventually it's roll out <coughs> If it's roll out, uh. the same thing we tell them okay. is to
take advantage of NCC uh -huh. so that nobody takes advantage of you. Oh. We'll be there to guide them oh. all through the way. We ensure as NCC that the pricing will be fair uh -huh. and that there will be competition so that there will be no collusion against the consumer. Wow. Thank you very much, Mr. Fusa. Uh, engineer Wakili, I got a shape. My name is Sakonka. So, what to Sakona, a Matsena, a director, Ingan Chida, and a Gartan, and you in Sadrawa, and a Hukuma, in us on Tabatra, Jama Chewa, Mana and Mana Duba, Ingan Chi, the Nagarta, the Kuma, a Bundazi, Shafi, Lafi, and Jamaa, Gameda, what a nice, you know, Sabon, what of Fasaha, and a five G. But I need to contact the Uncle Linsu, Zamu, Duba, what a Nabu was so say, Kuma, but Tabatar Chewa, Baskau, Illa. I'm so easy. I check which is here, but I can't eat her by Haka Abin Yaka Abin Tabin is saved that year and pined the Shia Hakapara and Pajidashi. Quarried the Kumai Dumbaka, some Maka Changa wire to the five Zaka Yam Pine on two, three, four G. Then Haka and Lai was a Halle, I paid the Korai. So good Yamik, Korai, the Skimon, the daddy there, Shugu, who came for the Kang and Uma, I can one and Sari now, five G. Momana Jara, what are August study? And I got a couple of new ones on Paradigas. Would Yamik, Korai, the Ski, and I made a good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Masaka Lord, the Kadeka, the hero Mutakas and Chicken, and one of my Katada, the one of Hukumata, and CC, what of Hukuma, Mikula, the Kampur, and Sada Rua, Tanajiri, the Fatam Kunjida, and Kasan Chuata, the Muda Wide, the Kandesakai, a common Sari na five G, what to teach a chicha, which I could take a mother, I want to Barazana, the Zia, a Kalafium, Bahaka, when you give her. Woman apartang, you don't have one of five G in your puto, Zami, and Padishi Zabo, and Goma, someone, and Kasata, Nigeria, Murum, one of five G, Yukumi, and Padishi.